compliment in every case. I'm sorry, it's just not. It actually raises a lot of red flags, to be honest. Because now you got your counterparts and your peers asking behind your back if you even capable of keeping a relationship. Why do we have to hold on to a man and keep a man, right? There's so many books and videos on how you should keep a man and keep him interested and keep him from cheating um, on you. It's never the other way around. It's never videos about, oh, how to keep your ladies in... um how to keep your lady in love with you and how to keep your woman from cheating from you, how to keep your woman in the relationship and keep her happy. It's always like information geared on how women should keep a man, right? Even if, even in, in like churches, right? Most of the time the pastor is talking, he's talking to mostly women. It's mostly women that are receiving the information because women are more impressionable, right? So they talk to us. So I'm just really tired of the same old, we got to keep a man. I don't care about keeping a man. Like he need to learn how to keep me. Shoot. Keeping a man and keeping a woman, etc. See, a lot of y'all felt triggered by that settle video, which was eye opening to me because obviously we have a lot of women living in the state of delusion, thinking that they just going to find the most perfect man ever. And if not, and they can't find that, they'll just be single as if that's supposed to do any type of advancement to our society. Ask yourself, what is your purpose on the earth as a woman if you're not seeking some type of family? You know, you know what's so crazy, right? My grandmother always told me, like, if I didn't have kids, that basically I wasn't a woman. And looking back at that, that was terrible, terrible information that she told me. There is so much more to a woman than birthing children. Like, yes, birthing children is very valuable to society. That's how we um, progress, you know. That's where we get our love from. Children, like, children are the future, right? But there's so much more to a woman than birthing kids. Like, we are creative we are we have great emotional intelligence we're good at analyzing things we're good at seeing things from different perspectives right we're nurturers we are caregivers we keep the home together there's so many other things like we love to learn we love to to be introspective and there's just so many qualities that we have that we bring to the table instead of just birthing a man kids I think what he really wants to say is, if you don't birth a child, how are you beneficial to men, right? That's really what it comes down to. If you're single, how can you benefit the patriarchy? How can you benefit men? How can you benefit the society that was created to benefit men, right? That's all it is. And especially family of your own. Like, what exactly are you trying to accomplish on this earth? Are you trying to be masculine? Ladies, there is so much things that you can do besides birthing children to these dusties. There are children dying in third world countries. There are children um, being sold off to other men in marriages. There's so many things going on in this world. The, 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 water, the water is depleting, you guys. There's so many things happening. There's animals going extinct. There is so many things that you can be doing, so many policies that you could be fighting for instead of being laid up barefoot, pregnant, and making eggs for a man in the morning. There's so much things that you can be doing. Please do not grow up thinking that the only thing you can bring to society is laying on your back and giving that man four or five kids and then going to work and paying half of the bills and then coming home, cooking, cleaning, and helping them with their homework. Please don't sit there and think that's the only value you have to bring to society. When you are married to a man, that benefits him more than you. He gets the promotions, right? He gets more business deals because men respect other married men, right? They respect that, okay, if he can lead a family, then he must be trustworthy, right? He, more, more over and over, a man will get a business deal over a guy that's a bachelor, right? I am telling you, you make them look way more trustworthy in society, right? 
if you if there's a married guy with kids right and you had to go run somewhere and you had to, you needed somebody to watch your kid not not saying that you would do that right but you see a, a bachelor that's just you know you kind of see he's like you know, just bachelor and just kind of the fun guy, right? And then you see this guy, he's married, he's, he got his kids, you know, he got the great image going on, right? You would leave your kid with that guy because that guy looks responsible. Some woman vetted him and trusted him enough to say, yeah, this guy is trustworthy to have children with, right? So yeah, you're going to leave your kid with him. So in society, when you give a man the title of marriage, you're telling society, this man, he's a great father. He's in the home. He takes care of my children. And I trust him enough to give him my womb. That's what it says when you give a man a child. When you when you are the the um the woman that's in the marriage, it's just, I don't know, we were just groomed to be married. So it's not like we get an extra knot on the, the back. Like, you're just a servant to these guys. That's all you are. You don't get, like, special powers now. They get special powers. You don't. Actually, I've heard men who are married get more pussy. Believe it or not, they get way more women throwing themselves at them because women like men that are taken. They see that, okay, this there was a woman that vetted this guy and thought he was good enough to be married to. So he must be he must be um well equipped to deal with me. Or he must there must be something about this guy that she sees. And no, you know what? I want to see what he has because she sees something in him. So I want to find out what it is, right? So you being married to a man, it doesn't really, honestly, it just slows you down, y'all. It just slows you down. Don't listen to these people. Don't listen to these people telling you, you, you have to have a family to have purpose in this world. There are still going to be pick Misha's that are still going to have kids by just anybody. And I'm not saying just because you have a kid that makes you a pick Misha. I'm saying having a kid just to say I'm having a kid because society wants me to have a kid and that's just the next step in life. And I just need to find a man and just have a kid just to say I have a man and a kid. Yeah, that's a pick Misha. Yeah. You're not going above and beyond for yourself. You're just taking what you can get, what's easy. Yeah, it's easy for you to open up your legs and, and get a kid. Yeah, that's easy to do. But go out in the world and fight for things that really matter or just to advocate for kids that are dying of hunger and they're being raped and taken advantage of. Like, I know you've heard about how much millions, billions the sex trafficking ring is making. And we know about this and none of us are doing anything. And if I know something and I'm I'm not doing something about it and I'm not advocating for the less fortunate, then I'm guilty to myself because I'm watching genocide. I'm watching all of these things and I'm, and I'm not saying, hey, that's wrong. Stop doing that. I'm just going on living in my perfect white fence family and pretending like everything is fine. And it's not fine. Our world is crumbling right before our eyes and we're not doing anything about it. We're not advocating for it. We're not making personal choices to change, to have some, to have some, um, effect at all. We're not doing anything different at all. We're just making the same choices over and over. How can we even change a society even five by 5% 5 if we're still going about life like, oh, everything is fine. We're in a patriarchy and men will just keep destroying the world and keep taking resources from the earth and keep pouring oil in the oceans, but we'll just keep pretending like everything is fine. It's not fine and we need to do something about it. And you need to do something about it too. I know what? Like, what's the deal? Do y'all remember that man that went viral the other day because he was trying to convince women that they needed to settle? Well, now he's back, and this time he's trying to convince women that they have no purpose in life if they're not pursuing relationship and family. Let's get into some of these responses. Not seeking some type of family. Why do you keep talking to us? This was the same dude that made a video saying that women need to settle. And my question to y'all is why do y'all keep talking about us? Do you not clock in? Do you not have hobbies? Do you not have people you can go hang out with instead of making these videos? Let me tell you something. When you go to your front door and you do this, when you open it, there is a life out there and you need to go experience that. Every day, y'all got a new topic on the board referencing us. 
Go reference a job. Go volunteer somewhere. Go add to the community. I don't care if he's serious or not. I don't care if he really believes that or if he's just rage baiting. There are so many things that you can do to actually contribute to society. A lot of these men have no direction without women. They wouldn't know what to do with their lives. They just wouldn't. And now women are saying, hey, we don't want to have kids like that. We don't want to have of marriages like that. We don't want to be in the homes barefoot, naked, and pregnant. We don't want that, right? Now they're just freaking out. And I just don't understand it. Like, you would think these men would be like, finally, I could just have sex with these sex workers without women trying to bait me into a relationship and bait me into a marriage, right? You think they would be happy, but instead they're like, no, you're going to die alone with cats, right? I don't think that's such a bad idea. I really don't think that's the worst. I don't think that's the worst thing that could happen to someone, them dying alone with cats. Cats are very, some cats are very playful and some cats are very independent, you know? And which is the opposite of a man. A man is very clingy. So, and cats are, you know, they're independent. Like, they they, they clean up after themselves, you know. They don't even shower like that. So, who ha who who takes more labor? A man. So, I think the one that has a cat and she has a nice house, I think she won at the end of the day. A woman that can go out in the world, travel, have her own business, add value to society, add value to her family and her friends or anyone she meets. And she's changing her world around her and making it a positive place. I think that woman has way more purpose than a man that just wants to stick his peewee into someone to say that he has a family and now he's somebody because he's a father and a husband, right? I think that woman has way more purpose because she's adding to multiple people lives she's giving out jobs she's giving opportunity she's giving knowledge she's learning about herself right she has this light about her that just attracts others right and all this man has to offer is his peewee and the fact that he can give you some kids i don't know i just think there's more to life than that you know let me know if i'm wrong y'all same way that y'all constantly talk about relationships and what women need to and not need to do, you can actually add something beneficial to different conversations. The conversations are so repetitive and redundant. When are we going to move on? Find something else to talk about. And if none of that other stuff goes viral, maybe that's telling you something. Anyways, y'all, like and subscribe for more.